Hi guys, thanks for joining me again for another lockdown special. Uh, I thought I'd try my hand at a saltwater pattern. Now this is going to be my take on a clouser minnow. So without further ado, let's get into it. In the vise then is a Hanak H950 barbless hook. This is an extra long shanked hook, streamer XL and it's on a heavy wire hook in black nickel. Now for a saltwater pattern, it's probably not going to cut the mustard if I'm perfectly honest. You, you need a barbed hook and um, something that's designed specifically for saltwater, but I don't have any of that because I don't go saltwater fishing. So I'm going to make do with what I've got though. Uh, you'll get the general idea if you get the proper hooks that you need, then this will serve you well. Uh, the thread I'm going to be using today is uni thread at 140 denier, and as you can see, it's white. And what I want to do is get plenty of wax onto my thread to start. So let's just catch in behind the eye, and what I want to do is run my thread approximately. A third of the way up the shank then I'm going to come back and I'm going to stop about just over a quarter of an inch from the eye of the hook I'm going to remove my waist at this point and what I'm going to do is add my dumbbell eyes and what I'm using is the the real real eyes uh, these are at 3.2 millimeter and the best way of putting these on I found is to lay it on to the shank like so Get a couple of wraps in and then it should automatically whip round to the side and then you can figure a till your heart's content or until you're at least sure that the eyes are not going to move. Then when you come back you can just make sure that that's secure by adding a little bit of super glue. I'm going to have to wait a little bit of time and I'll jump cut the video so that uh, you're not waiting and being bored. Okay, that's nice and dry now. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come all the way down with my thread wraps and I'm going to pause it just after I've passed the point then I'm going to come up and open turns and bring my thread over the eye and I'm now at front of the front of the hook. So I'm going to add my first wing. Now traditionally it's hair for the, the clouser minnow but I'm going to use some of this. It's Arctic Fox and it's just a sort of whitey colour. Now what I like to do with this is, um, is select the amount I'm going to use and then I like to comb it out. So what do I mean by that? I've got it here. This is this is a strand I've taken, and I'm going to use my comb that I use for deer hair, and just comb that out. And it just takes some of the bulk away, and it gives you that movement in the fibres, which uh, any kind of fish will find attractive. So I've combed that out. I'm just going to dress it up to the hook. Looks okay and I can snip that off now. Put it to the side. Now what you want to do is angle this up. Sorry I've got bits of bits of stuff all over the place now. Dress it up to the hook, angle it up at a 45 degree angle and then catch it in. What you want to happen is a cone shape appear at the front here. Just make sure that's all in place, like so. When you cut it in, bring it over the eyes, come in behind the eyes with your thread, and put three turns in that. Now what I'm going to do before I go on, is just add a bit of wax to my thread. I'm just running my fingers through the thread, just to get that wax embedded in place. And then I'm going to lift all my Arctic Fox 
up onto the hook and I'm going to start putting a spiral twist all the way up the body no, that one's not quite right to the end there and I'm happy with that. Now when I get to the end I'm going to just put another turn in at the end and I'm going to come back so I'm crisscrossing my thread here like so. So I've just finished behind the eye on your side and what I want to do is jump my thread underneath and come to the front of the hook. Now for my money I've probably used just a little too much Arctic Fox on this one but uh, I'm going to persevere so next at this point I like to varnish the, the uh, back of the fly and the top here so I'm just going to do that now I'm not using varnish actually I'm going to use um, some UV resin because it just dries quicker and I can get on with the tine. So just catch all that in. Like I say, I'm not a salt water fisherman, I don't tie a lot of salt water patterns. So I'll put the tin hat on once I've posted this and uh, if you've got any hints or tips how I can improve on the pattern, I'm all ears. So just curing that off now. Yeah, that's well thick, isn't it? Mm, not happy with that. But anyway. Next, I'm going to add in some crinkle flash. And what I'm going to do is add... I'm looking for three strands. That I can pull off of here. And what I want to do... Is bring the... Under, under the eye of the hook and once I've got it caught in I can then separate them so three each side and again I'm going to jump under the eyes get a couple of locking turns before coming back to the front of the hook. So what's that what's that done? So I've brought three three this side, three that side. Now I want it to be slightly longer than the tail of my fly. So I'll just come in there, snip that away. Same with the other side. Snip that away. Okay, so that's looking okay. And what I've done there you can't quite see is I've I've got the crinkle flash coming over the top of the head here which just adds a little bit of something to the to the minnow. So next for the under wing I'm going to turn invert my vise and traditionally I think the, the clouser minnow oops I've missed a bit there. I'll just grab that. The clouser minnow um had a, a green underwing or a chartreuse underwing so what I'm going to use is some of this uh, it's, it's bucktail and it, it's a yellow now with the bucktail you don't need very much and I've loosely stacked it here and I'll just give that a little thing uh, a little tap then when I take it out what I want to do is just open that up get the length and it wants to be about the same length as your Arctic Fox excuse my fingers and you should then take your fibres and leave in about a quarter of an inch and I'm just doing this over the bucket so I don't make a mess you've got a quarter of an inch left so basically you can come in, I'm just going to lock my vise actually, I 
on top and catch in. Again at an angle. Your chartreuse. And I'm just going to mess about with this slightly. There we go. Now I can invert the vice back so we can see what we're doing. And I can lock that off. Then what I want to do with my thread here is just build that nice cone shape up. Now a while back, um, for Facebook I, I had a go at the gotcha nymph and uh, a couple of the comments I got said, oh you know what, that works much better if you use a pink head. So what I'm going to do with this is just add a pink head. So I'm just going to cast this thread off with my whip finish tool. Still not got the hang of this quite right, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. So I'll cast that off. And then I'm going to come in with some glow bright number two. And as you can see, it's a bright pink. I'll catch that on at the front there. And then I'll just work the glow bright, take away my rag end. Now, the thing with uh, the thread I used for this, I mean, white's exactly the right thread colour, but what you get with the glow bright over the top of it is it, it's quite vibrant. So, fairly happy with that. Again, come in with the whip finish. Or, if you wish, you could use a use a, um, a half hitch oh, just snapped that off there not to worry I've got the I've, it's secure so I can just come in with my snips and remove any waste then to finish it off I'm just going to get some UV resin onto the hook, sorry, onto the head. To finish the fly. Now, uh, I don't know if there's such a thing as salt water purists, but uh, if there is, I'm sure they'll be all over me like a rash for this fly, but uh, I think it's about the, the third clouser minnow I've attempted, so uh, I think it's okay. I would chance mar them and see that it would still catch fish. I'm not very happy with the amount of Arctic Fox I used there, but uh, you know, for government work, I'm sure it'll be fine. So cure your head off, and if my wife ever lets me go to Cuba, I might even give this a swim. Perfect. So there we go. That's my take on the the Clouser minnow. I hope uh, it wasn't too far away for the original pattern. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please think about clicking the button, and I'll see you all next time.